hello beautiful people and welcome back again to my youtube channel how you guys doing hope you guys are doing good hope you guys are doing great as for me i'm doing good if today is your first time of coming across my channel on youtube or coming across my video on youtube please do not hesitate by hitting the subscribe button like share comment and most importantly turn on post notification bell so that when i upload any video you will be the first to get notified in today's video i'm gonna do a v french tip nails these nails came out so so beautiful you guys are gonna see it at the end of the video so you as you guys saw me doing i just pushed back the cuticles with my cuticle pusher that i got on Shein. And that's my cuticle cutter. I'm just cutting that dead skin that I push back, okay? Whenever you're doing that, be very careful so you don't cut the person's skin. So that's my cuticle on um, drip bit. I'm just going to use it to walk around all the cuticle areas and take out all those dead skin from my nails. So that's my sandy band. I'm going to use this sandy band to take out the excess shine from the nails. I do this so that when I apply the tip, it will be very very easy for me so guys that's the nails i'm gonna be using that i got on amazon this nails is a coffin shape and it's very very nice i really recommend it okay that's my um my cut glue you guys know this is the only glue that i use so that's my macad glue and when i had and size the nails of camera from sidewall to sidewall so guys, I'm only going to cut the tip uh, of the tongue because after applying your thumbnails, it's really, really um, longer than the others. The length was perfect for her. She didn't, want to, uh, she didn't want me to cut the length. So I left it like that. I'm just going in with my sunny band just to take the excess shine from the tip of the nails and also blend the tip and the natural nails together. So taking out your the shine from the tip of the nails, it really helps your polyger to last longer. So those are my primers. The first one was the nail primer. I applied it and now I'm applying the second one, which is the extra bond. Everything I use are going to be in my description box, okay? So that's my base coat. I'm using my Morovan kit um, that I review on my channel. If you are new to the channel, please, you can actually go watch that video. I review this product and this product is really, really good. I recommend you to buy it as a beginner so because it comes with everything, okay? So those are what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the white, the pink nude, and also I'm going to be using the clay. So I already applied my base coat and I cured my base coat for 30 seconds. And that's the polyjar I'm going to be using. I'm just going to use it to create an oval shape so that I will have that perfect French dip that I want to go for, okay? Let's give a warm welcome to our new subscribers. You guys are welcome to the family. I am grateful. I am happy. Thank you for subscribing. You guys will not regret subscribing to this channel, okay? So in this channel, this is a polyjar channel. We do all, all the nails we do. It's all about polyjar. Um, we unbox stuff and also we review products. But it's just going to take us a little time. We're still going to introduce more um, beautiful things to the channel, okay? Thank you for subscribing. I am really, really grateful. I appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And to our old subscribers, you guys know now, I can't forget you. You guys are the best. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. Thank you for sharing my videos. And thank you for liking and commenting okay please to the new subscribers don't forget to like my videos don't forget to um turn on post notification bell if you did not do that and also comment like tell me what you like about any videos or tell me what you don't like i really really appreciate those comments thank you thank you thank you so much if my video is not 
clear enough if you guys don't understand me put it down in the comment section i'll definitely give you an answer to all your questions so guys that's what we have after applying the pink nude to the nails now i'm gonna go in with my hand file guys do not miss this step because when you do this you you're just giving the nails the best smile line ever the smile line is the line between the pink nude and the white tip okay you guys are gonna see it and i will tell you guys what it is you see that place that i'm applying the white that is what we call the timeline the sorry the smile line so it really helps you get the difference between the pink and the white okay so i'm gonna apply the um, white on the tip and i'll cure it for 60 seconds and guys the node i applied them on the tip you guys know how we do this anyways i apply them on, on the nails and then i cure it for 60 seconds you will always always cure your pulley gel for 60 seconds and what i'm the liquid because i didn't tell you guys um before that liquid that i'm using that's a rubbing alcohol you can also use your uh sleep solution okay so i'm just gonna apply the tip and I'll cure it for 60 seconds. guys whenever you are applying this tip make sure you clean both sides of the nails clean underneath the nails so that you don't have excess poly gel falling to the side okay like I'm doing right there you guys can see so I just um adjust it make sure everything is perfect okay don't worry about it even if it's not perfect when you start filing the nails you see the perfection of the of your poly gel for me i believe so even if you are creating the poly gel it's not coming out right don't panic don't bother after curing it just begin begin to file you get the perfect shape that you are looking for i believe it's also like that with acrylic but i only know stuff about poly gel so i'm just building the nails after that i cure it for 60 seconds and now i went in with my clear poly gel and then after applying it on all the nails just to cover up those uh, the uh, the smile lines so that i don't over file it and then i also cured it for 60 seconds <laughs> so guys after applying the uh, clear on the nails and carrying it for 60 seconds that's my sleep solution i'm gonna use it to clean the nails and then i'll start filing i clean it with my sleep solution you can use your sleep solution you can also use your rubbing alcohol just to clean the the nails because poly gel is really really sticky okay so that it doesn't damage your and file so now i'm gonna go with my mccart and file i'm just gonna use it to shape the nails first and then i'll also use it to um fight the surface of the nails okay i move on each and every day the past is where it stays way back a year ago magic belief change been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day So guys, I went in with my cuticle um, drip bead Just to work around all the cuticle areas of the nails Whenever you are doing this, be very very careful The reason I do this is that when you apply your poly gel it really goes to your uh, cuticle areas and then you can actually use the drip bit to take them off i'm using my nail drill which is my melody susie nail drill i also got it on amazon all my uh products are gonna be in the description 
box okay you can just click on the link below and it's going to directly take you to the website i got them from so guys that's my e-file i'm just going to use it to shape the nails i'm going to use it to find the surface of the nails just to have a perfect um uh, perfect nails okay so i'm going to also use it to find the uh, file the fine lines just to have the perfect fine line that i'm looking for change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay i move on each and every day the past is where it stays way back a year ago with my hand file again just to file it shape it uh just to have the perfect shape that my client wants okay if you have watched in this time and you have not subscribed meaning you are enjoying it please hit the subscribe button turn up post notification bell so that when i upload any video you will be the first to get notified like share comment okay when you like my video it really gives me um the joy that you guys enjoyed that video okay that's my sanding band i'm just gonna use it to uh find the surface of the nails change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay i move on each and every day the past is where it stays Way back a year ago So now I'm gonna go with my buffer just to buff the nails and when buffing these nails I added a little bit of cuticle oil it helps take out all the crackiness from the nails if you like you if you don't want to do it it's fine okay so that's how the nails is looking right now we want to skip to the good part where we have the design so i'm using my rubber knuckle to clean out all the dust from the nails so that's the top coat i have my gold liner i have the shape flowers that i got from shein those are just um 3d flowers you just apply it on the nails very very easy so now i'm going with my top coat I'll apply the top coat and then I'll cure it for 60 seconds. So that's my gold liner. I just want to line the fine line because that's what she wanted and it came out so, so pretty. I'm going to just let you guys enjoy this part of the video. Magic belief change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same. As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago so guys after applying the liner the gold liner to all the nails i cured it for 60 seconds and now i'm applying the second layer of the top coat to the nails i'm doing doing this because when i apply the flower shape i don't have to apply the layer of any top coat to the nails so i will apply it and then i'll cure it for 60 seconds so guys that's my modem one 
rhinestone glue that's what i'm going to be using to glue this flower shape on the nails she picked how she wanted the flower shape to sit on her nails and i gave it to her the way she wanted it okay so she picked her favorite colors and then we just apply it on the nails after that you cure it for 60 seconds some of these um, flowers they change its color when it's inside the lamp or when it's inside the uv lamp and then when it comes out you give it a little bit of time it will naturally go back to the color it came with okay so there's a good uh, ball that came with it you just put it at the center of the flower that's it it's very simple and easy you can get this from Shein and you can also get it on Amazon but for me I got mine from Shein and it's really really good but I'ma choose what's right and take what comes and goes and ain't no one in life holding me back no more I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but I'll be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Magic. So guys, after applying the flower to the nails And carrying them for 60 seconds I'm gonna go in with my cuticle oil To apply on the nails That's my clinical oil that I got on Shein. We apply clinical oil to the nails so that it takes out all the ashiness from the nails. You guys saw um, how the nails was ashy. So this is the end of this video. This is how this nails came out. This nails came out so so beautiful. Hope you guys understood this tutorial and enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will see you all in my next video. Bye! I ain't going back, I'm not falling I'll push all my chips and call all in I'll bet on myself, you keep stalling I hear destiny and it's calling I'll keep my head up high through the downs and lows And we're all going life, still no